Hello, Hector. <laughs> good evening, teacher. How's it going? Good evening. I'm doing good. What about you, Hector? How are you doing tonight? Uh, hi, teacher. It's raining in my in my country. Oh, where do you live? It's raining. Oh, okay. I hope you don't have any problems with the internet connection. Okay. For for a moment, that uh, that's the this moment doesn't it's no no problem. Okay, you you can say uh ah uh, in this moment I don't have problems. I don't okay in this moment I don't have problems. All right, pretty cool. Remember negative. The auxiliary negative is for I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't all the time. Okay. All right, good. Right, Great sure. seeing you, Hector. How was your weekend, by the way? Uh, uh, it's happy, very, very nice because I do anything I want. I wanna, I wanna do. I wanna, I wanna do. Okay, okay, good. All uh, right. Maybe you want to say ah because I did everything. I did okay. everything. I did everything. I wanted to do. I wanted to do. To do. Okay, teacher. Yes. I did okay. everything I want you to do. Perfect, perfect, very good. That's the way. All right, cool. Cool, cool. That's yes. great. All right, there she is, Xiomara. Hello, Xiomara. Do you hear me? Yes, uh, hello, good evening, everybody. How are you? <laughs> um, I'm doing fine. And you, Hector, uh, Xiomara is asking about how you are doing as well. Okay, uh, fine, fine, Simon, I great, because I tell my teacher that yesterday I I did any something, everything I want to do. Okay, all right, pretty cool. That's it, Hector. Nice, nice. Continue practicing that structure, right? So you can develop more. All right. There is a Rebecca Maria Rosales. Romero, how are you doing, Rebecca? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. All right. Cool. Nice weekend. Yes. Very short. Very short. But good weekend. Okay. <laughs> that means you did many things during the weekend. Yeah. Did you work? In no, in the house. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yes. Okay, I see. So, Mara and you, how was your weekend? Did you enjoy it? You didn't enjoy it. Well, uh, as always, I work one day of the weekend. This time, I worked uh, last Sunday. And my, in my day off, uh, it was Saturday. I I did many many things. It was it was productive. Okay, that's great. It was a lot productive to you. Good, uh, Carla Elena Lopez. Hello, welcome. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good weekend or bad weekend, Carla. My weekend was good. I couldn't press this all day. Oh, okay. You couldn't rest. Okay, negative, right? I couldn't. I couldn't rest. Okay. When you use couldn't, the verb it goes, the verb goes normal. Check. In negative, I couldn't rest. The verb is is normal. You see it? You see it? Yes, this year. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm really sorry that you couldn't rest. I hope you came the next weekend. Okay. But great seeing you, Carla. Great that you are in class. Okay. Uh today is what is the date, guys? What is the date today? What's the date? 
Mm -hmm. Anybody? What's the date? Today. Today is 24th, June, uh, August 24th. Ah, okay. Today is the day. What is the date? Uh, Monday. <laughs> Monday, all right. Monday, after the day, goes... 24th. The month. Goes the uh, month. So. Mm -hmm. That is... Uh, August, August. August... 24th. 24th. Ah, let me check the calendar in the 24th. Oi. Sorry. Oh, you sorry. are three days ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was thinking about this this date uh, from the the last uh, week and it is in my mind the, the date 24th. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh yeah, but no problem. But but it's not 24th. Okay, it's 20. 21. 21. Ah, no. Ah, but it's not 20. 21 is cardinal number. We don't use cardinal numbers eh, with dates. 21st. Correct. We use ordinal, order, yes. from order. 20. First. First, correct. Not, I, I have 21 debts. 21 deudas. <clears throat> 21 debts. Okay, but in calendar days, I need to use the ordinal numbers. 21st, 3rd, 2nd, etc. Okay, and the year? The year? 21st, uh, 15, 23, 23rd. Uh, no, the year is normal, 2023. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the year is normal. Don't worry. Okay, pretty good. Okay, uh, welcome, guys. Great seeing you back in the class number five. Okay, we are going to pass this. We don't need it. And let's check today's class. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, pre-advanced model one. Uh, the topic is, Xiomara? And... Requests with model. It, it clauses and gerunds. And gerunds. Okay. You see uh, the animation, guys? The small anim animation? All right. You see it? Yes, yes. sir. All right. Please. Uh, Hector, you're going to be the boy. Please read the boy's line. Hector. Okay, teacher. Could you make could you make a, a favor for tomorrow? Could you make me a favor for tomorrow? Again, again, please. Could you make me a favor for tomorrow? Okay, Rebecca, you are the girl. Sure. What can I do for you? Okay, pretty good. All right, there it is. Okay, now we are going to practice models. Could and can. But let's check about what's a request. Please, um, hey, Daniel, there you are. Welcome. Didn't see you at the beginning. Hello, Hector. Daniel, sorry. Daniel, Daniel. Hello, good evening. Good evening. What's a request, uh, Daniel? What's the definition for request? Sorry, teacher. Uh, I'm sorry, but I just came into the class and I don't see. Ah, okay, you didn't miss Thank a big part. Don't worry. We are just starting. We just read this. Could you make me a favor for tomorrow, Daniel? Sure. What can I do for you? Ah, okay, pretty good. We are gonna study models, models for requests. Okay. 
Uh, definition, uh, Daniel, can you read it? Okay. What's a request? Yeah, sure. What's a request? The act of polity, polity of, oh, it's so hard that's, okay. that's word. Don't worry. Politely or officially asking for something. Okay, good. The act of politely, polite. It's polite. like polite, right? Polite yeah. with education. Yes. Politely. Politely. That's it. Okay. Yes. The request is the act of politely or officially asking for something. Okay. Asking for something to do a particular thing. All right, in your house, at your job. Okay. okay. When you when you make a request, when you when you ask for something. Let's uh for um, uh, for example, in my house, in my house, when I when I want to drink something, and my children or my child is near to the big barrel, and, and I I I make a request. Uh, can you bring me some water? This is a All request, right. or similar or not? No, that's a request for a request. So it is correct. All right, but. Guys, uh, do you uh, what else? What any other models can you use? Do you remember any other besides can and and could? Do you know any other models that we can use? Do you mind? Ah, okay. Do you mind is one correct. That is like a phrase. That's it. All right. That is correct. Do you mind? Mm, what else? Sure. Any other model that you might uh, do, do, do you mind? Do you mind? Ah, yeah, correct. We have two. Would you mind or do you mind? That's it. Okay, they are two. What else? Any other model? Moral, moral, moral verbs. Okay, don't worry. We are gonna check on that in this moment. Okay, here we have the structures. We have only, only three, three structures for request with models. Number one, please, Damaris, great seeing you. What is the normal structure for a request? Modal verb plus subject plus verb plus complement. Okay, only four parts. Modal verb, subject, verb. Modal verb mm -hmm. plus subject plus verb plus complement. Okay, thanks. That is number one. Number two, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Ada. Ada, Ada. Request with? Request with if. Mm -hmm. Modal verb plus subject plus verb plus if subject plus verb plus complement. Okay, this is only the uh, structure. We are gonna practice, don't worry. And finally, uh let's see Rebecca, maybe the request with request request with Jaron. With Jaron, correct. A structure. Modal verb. Plus subject, plus verb, plus gerund, plus verb, plus complement. Complement, okay. At the beginning, you can see them, ah, teacher, subject, verb, complement, subject, verb, if, subject, verb, gerund. What is that? We are going to check in this moment. Okay, indication there. What's the indication? Oh, okay, Carla. Okay, so bad, but okay, don't worry. Let's let's learn how. Can you read it, please? Let's learn how to make requests with models. With models, okay. This is pretty useful uh, when you when you work in a place or even in your house. You can be very polite, okay, making requests 
with models. So let's open the, the first link. Okay, we are gonna check this. Uh, okay, it, it says Asia, Asia, this Asia, okay. But this is pretty much grammar. Models of requests. Request. Models of requests. This is pretty useful, believe me, pretty useful. Okay, uh, let's see. First, the reader, Hector, can you help me with this uh, paragraph, Hector? Okay, teacher. Model of request, when we want to ask for things, order a restaurant, invite the people to the meeting or to or from make offer we use model of request we use model to make request sound more polite in english making the request short and direct is considered quite quiet impolite it's much better to use a longer version of the request by using model of request so that the request is less direct and therefore considered more polite. Okay, just keep in mind that models of request make you be, they make you more polite. Just remember, polite. What is polite? What's polite? No. Uh huh. What's the meaning? Polite. Polite is the this more more. Cortes, amable. Cortes, uh, with education, correct? With education, right? So we use models of requests to sound more Politica. polite. Excuse me, Hector. Yeah. Con con hablar con ética, digamos. Uh, with education, that's it, simple. With education, right? Okay, let's see. Two examples. Example number one, uh, please, Jocelyn, can you read it? Jocelyn, Elizabeth, hear me? No? Carla, Lisa, maybe? I know Carla has issues with the internet. Uh, yes, I, I, can, oh. I can read. Perfect, okay. Send me some money. The request. Ah, lend me. Repeat it. Lend me, lend me some money. Oh, direct request. But that is not, that is not polite. That's not polite. <laughs> okay, what is the translation of this? Translation. Presteme pisto. In English, ahí. Let me some money. Is that polite? Is that polite? No. No, sure. it's not polite. It's like, That's not polite. Ah, uh, but why? Por qué, right? <laughs> okay. How can you, can you change in a polite way? With a model at the beginning of the sentence. Ah, okay, but read read the number two because this is a polite one. Could you lend me some money, please? Ah, that is different, right? Could you lend me some money, please? Teacher, I have a problem. Really sorry. This is I indirect request. This is polite. That is more polite and more appropriate, correct? Right? That's different. Uh, let me see if I have. Déjeme ver si tengo, right? But at the beginning was not polite. So that's why we use models of requests. Okay, continue, Xiomara. There are four basic models of requests that we use. Can, will, could, would, and may. For offers. For offers. Okay, we have basic uh, models that you can use. Examples more formal. Would and, and could. And could. could. Would and could. 
Those are the two formal ones. Uh, informal, but less formal, you can use? Will and can. Will and can. Can is, for example, for your friends, when you speak with your family, etc. Okay? And will as well. All right. Uh, continue with, with this small part, Shamara. Okay. We use the modal verbs will, will and can in less formal situations. Uh, whereas we use would and could in more formal situations. Okay, would and could in more formal situations. For example, at work. At work is better to use these ones. Mm, Rebecca, what are the examples, please? Uh, would you open the window? Could you pass? Could you pass me the potatoes? Mm -hmm. Will you lend me some money? Can I borrow your pen? Okay. See, more formal, less formal. All right. Are we okay at this point? Yes. Yes. But teacher. Uh huh. There two Yes, Rebecca, I hear we you. Can use, we can use the four. This one. Less uh, I can use less formal too. Yeah, but depending on the person, right? Depending on the person. Okay. Or the situation too. Uh, yeah, the situation you're having, etc. That depends. Depends. But you can use can. You can do it. You can do it. No problem. Daniel. Daniel, can you help me with a paragraph? Daniel, Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay. yes. Sure. Sorry. What are the modal verbs? Modal verbs are used to add more information to the main verb. They are always followed by the main verb in the infinitive form without two in the best form. Also, modal verbs don't change their form, meaning you don't add S, E, N, G, or add to them. Oh, that's cool. Check. No rules when using modal verbs. Yeah. No rules. You don't need to add S for the simple present, ING, no ING, no ED, no rules. Hey, that's cool, right? You don't have to worry about rules when models, when using models. Example, what is the correct one? Guys? Can she come over? Can she come over? That is the correct one. Incorrect? Cans. Cans. What's yes. that? Cans, cans she come over? No. At all. Number two, incorrect. Can mm -hmm. she cans over? Can she comes over? Oh, comes no over. letter S to the main verb. No rules. Okay. No rules. No rules at all. All right. Models of request, asking someone to do something. For example, in this sentence, what is the request? Would you open the window? Would you open the window? Check. What is the main verb? Normal. Normal. No rules. No mm -hmm. nothing, no nothing at all. Number two. Could you open the door? Check. The screen. The yes. same thing, no rules at all, no nothing, nada. This one, can you let me five dollars? Uh, yes, I can. Five dollars, five dollars are okay. 
but a hundred, <laughs> yeah, okay. hundred, no, right? <laughs> Five dollars, it's fine. I can. Why not? I can. Okay. Next. Will you give sure. me your jacket? Uh, uh, okay, no problem. Yes, Daniel. Teacher, this this uh, model is not usual to use because will um I think they use another another kind another situation. But will you give me your jacket? Jacket is now usually used will. Yeah, it's true. It's not pretty common. Even though will is moral, and we use it for future. Me darás tu chaqueta? Why? The okay. question is why, right? Why do I have to give you my jacket? So imagine we are walking on the street, it's raining, and you tell me that. Hey, would you give me your jacket? Uh, I'm, I'm getting cold. Ah, yes, yeah, sure, I will. Okay, that it would be in that context, yes. It's the sentence pocket. means, como, me, me vas a dar tu chaqueta. Correct, uh -huh. that's it. O me darás. Okay, okay. All right. Me darás. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Because it's kind of future, right? But this is a, a request as well. Request. I can use my computer for a moment. Ah, uh, but Carla, change, change the moral in the first place. Because it's a question, it's a request. Can I, would be. Can I use my computer for a moment? And at the end, the question mark, all right? Is at the opposite, can I, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, that way, because it's question. We're gonna practice, don't worry. Okay, uh, all right, affirmative. Hector, let's see, uh, Carla Alicia. Hello, Carla Alicia. Affirmative. Affirmative questions with moral self request. We, we form, form affirmative questions by placing the moral first, then the subject of the question, and finally the verb in this base form. Ah, moral, okay. Modal. Plus subject plus verb in base form. Okay. Can you read the examples, uh, please? Um, wait, would, would you like something to drink? Ah, yes, sure. What do you have? Okay, for example, check. Moral, wood. Mm -hmm. Next. Subject. Um, Plus. I, I can see. Uh -huh. my ah, okay, I'm, I'm going to make it bigger. <laughs> okay, like that? Uh, no, no. Wait, okay. Will you take a look at my homework? Mm -hmm. Will you give me my money back? And can you buy me a soda? A soda. Okay, guys. If you check, moral is number one. Number one, would, could, will, and can. Subject, you, 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 you. The four of them. What is the verb in everyone? What is the verb? Guys? Like, like the take, give, give and, and buy. buy. And buy. Okay? And the rest is complement. Complement, complement. Check. That is the correct order in this case, in the affirmative. Check. Affirmative questions with models of requests. Okay? All right. Uh, let's see. Ta -da -da -da. Now, we have this one. Hey, as someone said, Rebecca, I, I guess she said. Hey, teacher, we can use? Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Okay, Rebecca, continue. Would you mind plus verb ing? I, ing. ING is this uh, a structure is this one is this one oh. ING is Jeron number three request with Jeron with the Jeron correct that is the one example uh, continue please when 
when we want to make a polite request in English, we can use the press, will you mind? The phrase, the phrase. Pre phrase. Phrase. Phrase, yes, like. The praise will be mine. I can hear you. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, Rebecca. Yeah. Okay. I hear you. You can hear me. Me too. Yes, I can. Teacher, I can the, hear you. The teacher now. <laughs> the teacher not. No, no, no hear you, teacher. Creo que solo nos puede escuchar, pero I think she can hear, but uh, we don't hear you, teacher. This is the rain effect, maybe. Maybe it's Hector, uh, Hector and Carla, you hear the teacher? No, the teacher, no. No, oh, I don't. I don't can. I can hear the teacher. Maybe it's the rain. The, the rain effect. I don't yeah. Know. We must wait. In a few moments, maybe can freeze the mic. Pudieron ver que yo les compartí en el grupo de WhatsApp que, que decían que esta semana tenemos que terminar este la sección 3 y hacer el examen. That's true. Yes, the teacher right. Yeah. Pero ¿a dónde está el examen? Que yo lo he buscado y no lo encuentro. ¿Cómo? ¿No sabe dónde está el examen? No. Yo, Ajá, estoy... yo, lo... yo estaba en el plan.
Hello, hello. Hello, Sumara. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, I'm doing fine. And what about you? I'm fine. Sure. All right, good. Okay, good. Just let me interchange my, my speakers so I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, very well. Okay, okay, perfect. All right, thank you. Thank you for connecting. This is not common. All right, and that says a lot of you. You could be having fun, watching a movie, maybe eating popcorn <laughs> with your children, but you are in class. Okay, that's great. Perfect, perfect. And how was your day, uh, Shumara? It was a uh, busy at work, and but tomorrow I won't work until next uh, Sunday. Ah, okay. So you, tomorrow is your day off. Yes. Okay. On Sunday, resting. I have a schedule from six a.m. Uh, to two p.m. From six to two, eight hours from work. Eight, yes. Eight. Okay. Yes. Uh, rem remind me, what do you do in, in your job? I don't remember exactly. Uh, I am a customer service. I don't know what is the other word for this. Uh, support? No? Yes, support. Ah, customer service support. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, that's good. All right. Hey, there is our classmate, Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. I'm I'm so tired. Tired. Okay. I know, I know. Working from Monday to Friday is tiring. Yes. Yes. It's how true. Many, it's true. How many hours do you work, uh, Rebecca, during the week? In the week, um, how many hours? Eight, seven, ten, uh, eight hours, eight hours. Yes, all right. And what do you do? Um, I in my work, I um, I am a uh, Real. Administrative collaborator. Administrative collaborator. Collaborator. Uh, okay, about doing doing what activity? Uh, I mean, uh, administrative collaborator in business, uh, financial, for example. Um. Well, I, I. In my department, uh, we see the uh, pre pre inversion. Uh, invest pre pre investments processes. That that would be okay. Let me share the screen with you so you can check the vocabulary that you can use in that okay. case. Yeah, because depending on the on the business that you work, depending on that, you can use a specific uh, vocabulary, for example. Oh. All right. Uh, let me open the Word document in this part. 
You you see the monitor, uh, Rebecca? Yes. Oh, but Word is giving me issues. Loading. Ah, uh, come on, is requesting me the license, but in the past. He didn't request me to check the license. I don't know why now he's doing it, but don't worry. We are gonna do it with this, uh, with a notepad, okay? There is always a solution for the issues. <laughs> okay, yes, always, always, always. You just need to find it and that's it. Okay, uh, you work with pre-investments, I work in public investment. Okay, public. Public. Public investment. Investments, uh, contracts, maybe? Projects. Ah, projects. Yes. Uh, with the government? Exactly. Ah, all right, I get it. Perfect. Okay. These are, these are the words that you need, all right? Public investment project, yes. I work with public. Repeat it since the beginning. From okay. the beginning. I work in public investment project. Uh, but it would be in, in simple present, not in progressive. Okay. I work in. I work only. I work. Mm -hmm. I work in public investment project. Or if you want to add with, si quiere agregar, with the government, to be specific. Okay. With naive government. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but with, with government is enough. That's no. It. <laughs> okay, okay, we know, we know. All right. Uh, thank you for joining. I was uh, telling Xiomara, thank you for joining to this mini class. You could be watching a movie, uh, eating popcorn with your children, but you are in class. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for joining. Okay. How many are we? Hey, Hector is there. Hello, Hector. I hadn't seen you. Hi, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Hey, what's up? What's up? Good evening. And Carla, Carla Alicia, good evening as well. Good evening. All right, guys. Okay, uh, we are not going to take, I'm not going to take more of your time, only 30, 35 minutes, just to complete the lesson that we were taking. Okay, let's see. Um, I want to I wanna ask you if you remember the three structures do you remember if we check them the three structures with models with if and gerunds yes or no yes yes right we were close yes in this part yes okay uh, when talking about uh, request with models we have the first rule that is like the general rule Hector, what do we have in the general rule when using normal request? Uh, the model verbs. Mm -hmm. Okay, we model verbs plus? Plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. Plus complement. Okay, that is very general. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if you remember, we can make requests using the clause is if. if that's it okay in in the assignment that you are doing in the platform you have to use in some cases the clause if yes. uh, Xiomara, what is the formula to use clauses with if mm, model verb Plus subject, plus verb, plus if, subject, plus verb, as complement. Okay, and, and at the end? My question. Ah, okay, this is important because sometimes I hear, ta-na-na, 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 but 
in indirect requests, they are questions if you have, as if you have direct questions, como si tuviera direct questions. So you have to mention or you have to intonate the question as in another question. For example, uh, can you tell Jean to bring some kind of sodas to the party? Is that correct? Yes or no? No. It uh -huh. has the intonation. Ah, but listen, listen. Uh, can you tell Kathy to bring some kind of sodas to the party? Yes, that sounds different. Yes, that is the point. If you don't place the correct intonation, hmm, a question, it is a question, yes, but you didn't apply the correct intonation. Okay, so the question mark. That's always... very different in Spanish, teacher, because when we say a, a question in Spanish, eh, even we eh, don't tell the intonation, people understand this. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> in mm -hmm. other words, we don't care the intonation in Spanish, yes. But our language is so different to English, right? Have you visited the Tunco Beach? Have you gone to the Tunco Beach at night or during the day? No. No? Uh, Hector, uh, Rebecca, Carla, have you visited no. the Tunco? What? Sorry. Uh, have you visited the Tunco Beach during oh, yes. the day or at night? Yes, teacher. Okay, you do. Okay. But it's different when you see American people. But is very different when you speak with them. Yes or no? Hey, uh, where do you live? What do you do in, in your, I don't know. They use a lot of intonation when they make questions. Yes? Because that is the way. In Spanish, we don't care. Our language is different. Okay? That is the point. Yes. All right. Uh, Rebecca, the third uh, the third formula for request is with Daryl. Okay, Modal but... verb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Modal verb plus subject plus verb plus Daryl plus verb plus complement. Okay. It's okay when you see Moral bear, subject, subject, if, a subject, zero, that's fine. Okay, that is for you to guide. But the important is, the important of this is the practice. Let's see. Uh, remind me, recuerde me, remind me if we, we opened this uh, website. Did we open it? Yes or no? During the last class, did we I open it? Not yet. I bet, right? I bet yes. Apuesto que sí. All right. You have this website just to check. All right. See, models of request, asking someone to do something you can use. Would. Would. Example. Mm -hmm. Would you open the window? Would you? Ah, yes. Yes, I would. Not a problem. I would do it. Okay. Next. Hector? Could you open, could you open the door? Ah, sure. Don't worry about it. I will open the door. When you want to give answers, not necessarily, you have to say, Ah, yes, I could. You can use a spontaneous check. You can use a spontaneous answers in those, those questions. What is it spontaneous? Ah, sure, not a problem. Of course, 
Yes, I can. I am glad. Okay? You can use more options. Not only the direct answer. Next. Can uh -huh. Can you lend me five dollars? Uh, what are are you gonna use it for? What are you gonna use those five dollars? Uh huh. May what? you repeat, please? Okay. Okay. What are you gonna use those five dollars? What are you gonna use? What are you going to use those five dollars? Okay. What what I I I want to buy is is the answer the question. Correct. Yes. What um, was my question to you? Spontaneous. Fue mi pregunta espontánea para lo que me estaba pidiendo five dollars. Yes or no? No, direct. <laughs> no, it was. Okay, I could have I could have told you. Le pude haber dicho después de que me preguntara. Hey, hey can you lend me five dollars? Yes, have them. Sí, aquí están. Have them. Pero qué hice antes? What did I did? What did I do? Sorry. ¿Qué hice? You ask. You asked first uh, how she is going to use the five dollars. Correct. That that is the point. You can use spontaneous answers for the questions that you receive. Not only, yes, take five dollars, and you don't you don't care. All right. You can use spontaneous answers in English, and that is in English what you need to keep in mind. When people talk to you, you can answer, ah, yes, I have five dollars, take them, tomelos. Or, what are you going to use those five dollars to be curious, para ser curioso, right? You can make more conversation with, with, with a person. Get, get the point? Get the yes. point? Yes. And if I care of that person, I have to ask why. She wants $5. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, let's do this. Uh, Shomara, can you lend me $5, please, for tomorrow? Mm, first, tell me why you want $5. Why are you going to to buy with yours? Uh, I want a couple of beers. No, I can't lend. Hey, you. why not? <laughs> why not? Because beers are not good for your health. <laughs> Okay, okay, great. You are making a bigger conversation with that person than if you just give yes, have them. Get a point? ¿Se entiende? Punto? Yes? Okay, yes. All right. So that is, that is conversational English, guys. You can give more options or more answers besides a normal question. Puede dar más opciones de respuesta, más que, can you lend me five dollars? Yes. No. That's it. Okay. Next one. Will you? Will you give me your jacket? Uh, why do you need my jacket if it's, uh, it's, if it's sunny? If it's sunny, why do you need my jacket? <laughs> uh -huh. It's well, sunny. Uh, it's sunny. Está soleado. Why do you need my uh, jacket if it's sunny? Because I need to jacket because I... Because I like um, it. I, I like, like it. your rocker jacket, for example. Yeah. Yes. Me gusta tu chaquera rockera, rocker jacket, because it's black. Yeah. Get it? Okay, guys, go beyond normal answers. Puede ir más allá de normal answers in English. Okay, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. You can use morals, this one, this one, these ones. That, that are the options that you have. 
check. Uh, remember this? Yes. Uh, just a moment, just a moment. I am in, okay, in this part. Would you? Would you mind? Okay, May me, make me a request, guys, with would you mind? Make me a request in this moment. Would you mind telling us what time are you going to give the class next Monday? Okay, ah, that's a long sentence. Very good. That's a long sentence. Would you mind telling us what time you are going to give the class next Monday? Nice, Omar. Very good. Ah, okay. No, I don't mind. I don't mind. Uh, I'm going to give you the class at the same time. As always, 9 p.m. Good. Rebecca, question with, would you mind? It can be personal. Okay, take take a moment. Hector, a request with, would you mind? Or Ada and Carla. Please. Would you mind... Teach me more English, teacher. Would you mind teaching, 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 remember, teaching. I -N -D. Check. When you use, yeah. would you mind, you have to use ing in the verb. Check. Would you mind, plus, verb, ing. Would you mind teaching us more English? Okay, not a problem. Are you going to stay until 10 p.m.? Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? I, 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 <laughs> On Friday? Ah, okay, if you stay, Maybe. of course. I can teach you more. Not a problem. Hector wants, to, wants you to teach him all the weekend. During all, oh no, but tomorrow I can. Tomorrow I'm going to La Union very early at 4 p.m. 4 a.m., sorry. Too early. Yes. All day, so, teacher. <laughs> all day long tomorrow. I'm sorry, Hector. I can't. To be honest, I can't. Are you making conversation with me? Yes or no? Está yes. haciendo conversación conmigo? Ajá. Uh -huh. I have a question. Question. Yes, Rebecca. Yes. Okay. Um, would you mind telling me what you will do in La Unión? Oh, okay. That is uh, kind of personal, <laughs> but I don't have problems uh, answering that. Okay. Um, we are visiting some relatives from my uh, grandmother that live there in La Union. We are visiting some relatives with with my grandmother. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did I get the message? Recibe el mensaje from the question? Guys? Yes. Yes, sir. I, you understood, I understood her question. Did I answer her question? Respondí la pregunta de Rebecca? Yes. Yes. Okay. Was she okay with the answer? ¿Se quedó bien con la respuesta que le di? <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. That is conversational English. A eso se refiere. Está bien que subject plus verb plus complement. That's part. Okay. Pero lo que importa es que usted ponga en práctica. Uh, hey, would you mind telling me what are you going to do in la unión tomorrow? She wants to inquire about what I'm going to do. Quiere saber, right? And she asked. Y preguntó. And I answered. That's it. All right. Ada, Carla, uh, uh -huh. question about uh, you seeing, uh, would you mind? If not, I, I'm going to answer. Would you mind uh, telling me what you're, you're going to do, guys, uh, tomorrow, Saturday? Do you have any plans? Would you mind telling me that? I'm going to stay home at morning and afternoon I will come to, to see. 
Okay. Maybe not long. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. Uh, your answer is, is okay. No problem. Uh, what about you, Rebecca? Do you mind telling me your plans during the weekend on Saturday? Okay. Um, I have to decorate a room for a party. Uh, my sister uh, is her birthday my, tomorrow. Oh, great. How old is she tomorrow? 49. Out 49. Yes, Almost 49. 50. <laughs> yeah. Ah, nice. Guys, me salí de la conversación de. Uh, would you mind telling me what you're going to do tomorrow, Saturday? Me salí de eso después. Yes or no? Did you notice? Lo notó? ¿Qué le pregunté a Rebeca después? Yeah. Uh, ah, she, she was telling me, ah, my sister is going to have a party, blah, blah, blah. ¿Cuál fue la siguiente, la siguiente pregunta? How old is your sister tomorrow? Is... Correct, yes. You are making more conversations. Se está yes. saliendo It's related de... to the answer. Correct. That's it. That's it. Pretty good. Okay. Puede salirse de the same topic. Puede preguntar, hey, what, what, what all is your sister tomorrow? Are you going to invite me to the party tomorrow, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> really? Yes, no problem. No problem, teacher. I, I don't need invitation. <laughs> what What time is What time is the party so I can be ready? <laughs> <laughs> it's a 5 p.m. Ah, uh, no, I can't. Sorry, I am going to be in La Union at that time. Sorry, I can't. Next, next year, maybe. All right, see? Keep in mind, you can, you can practice, guys. You can practice this. Would you mind, blah, blah, blah. But make more conversation with the other person. All right? Practice. What do you know? Practique lo que ya sabe. Uh, how Would well... you mind? Uh -huh. Would okay. you mind explaining the questions in the platform next week? <laughs> ah, ha, ha. okay. That is with intention. That is with intention. Esa va con intención, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind explaining to you. I wouldn't mind explaining to you how to do the exercises. No me importa bien explicarle cómo se hacen, right? But it's different. I won't do the exercises in, in the whole platform. No le voy a hacer todos los ejercicios, right? No, I know. Uh, okay, but that was the intention, okay? All right, that is the point, yes. No, I wouldn't mind if you, if you notice in the chat Make your questions. Teacher, I have this problem with the exercise, ta, ta, ta. Uh, I don't know, 3.4, for example. I don't know what to do. Did I answer? Have, have I answered? He contestado en el chat? Yes or no? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, but we need to read as well. También hay que... Leer también. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. No me importaría. Yes, I don't have any problem. Okay, good. All right. Okay. All right. But remember, you need to, need to place on WhatsApp group. Teacher, can you help me? Or can you help us in this exercise? You need four exercise 3.5. But if you don't place that, si no pone eso, how can I know? ¿Cómo puedo, cómo puedo saber? Right? So place, place it specifically. Póngalo específicamente and I can help you with. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Check. After wood, you can use. Could you please? Uh -huh. Can you please take an order? Ah, in a restaurant, for example, okay, I am the waitress. I am the waiter, sorry, I am the waiter. Walking from one side to the other side, and you are 
Hey, and the wait, what's going on with the waiter? You can use. Hey, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Sorry, excuse me. Could you please take our order? Oh, oh I'm really sorry. I, I didn't see you. Okay, tell me what you're going to order, for example. Uh, you can use. Will you lend me some money, please? Uh, how much do you need? $100. Oh, uh, why do you need $100? I need to buy something. <laughs> and what is that something? ¿Qué es eso algo? What is that something that you need to buy? <laughs> I need to buy um um some some stuff I need. <laughs> some stuff. Uh what what kind of stuff do you need? Hey? Uh I need, need to buy uh, some shoes, a pair of shoes and a one bag. Uh, but some or a pair because... A pair. But $100 for a pair of shoes. You can go to the shopping. You can you, you can go to shopping center. They are <laughs> uh, $30, $40. You don't need 100 <laughs> Okay, see what, what I mean? You can make more conversation. With, with someone. Puede hacer más conversación, más que solo. Would you lend me some money, please? Yes, that's it. All right. She need, needs comfortable shoes. Um, okay, that would be one reason, correct. She needs more comfortable. Repeat, Carla, comfortable. Comf comfortable. Comfortable Comf shoes. Comfortable. Yes, comfortable, comfortable. Shoes. Yes, comfortable shoes. That would be one reason, correct. That's it. Okay, pretty good. All right. Uh, last thing, guys, we are about to finish. Only two minutes more. We can make a negative questions using indirect questions. Uh, can you read it, uh, Hector? Yes, teacher. If when using model of requests, We'll we'd like to ask someone not to do something we can place not before the verb. Before the verb. Not before the verb. Example. Would you not speak so lowly? Would you not speak so lowly? Podrías no hablar tan? Sorry. No, lowly is opposite. Yeah. All right. Hi. Correct. Fuerte. All right. Could you? Could you not? Could you not smoke? Podría, podría usted, depende, right? Si es en Spanish or in English. Podría usted no? Fumar. Fumar? Smoke, Mary. Uh, here. Thank you. Aquí. Uh, okay. Okay. It's fine. Will you? Will, Will you not spend all the money? Ah, okay. I can tell Somara. Hey, uh, Somara. For me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Somara, I can lend you the $100, but will you not spend all the money? I need them. <laughs> ah, I need them. I'm Short. sorry. <laughs> Short and specific. Corto, específico, I need them. That means that she's going to spend all the $100. So, va a gastar todos, right? Good. Can you not make so much noise? Puedes hacer no tanto ruido, etc. Okay. Guys, please check this website when you have time. You can make negative using would, could, will, can, etc. Uh, short answers. Check. Uh, can you lend me? Can you lend me a jacket for tomorrow? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Simple, right? Simple. Uh, will you be in class next Monday? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. 
Uh, can you connect tomorrow uh, for another extra class? No, I no. can't. <laughs> <laughs> because it's Saturday, right? Okay, and so forth and so forth. Okay. Teacher. Yes. I don't have the link. Who ah, can... where where is this link about this with yes. this website? Yes. I, okay. I have where never is... entered. Okay. What class number is? Class number five. Number five. Where is presentation number five, guys? Where is it? It's in Google Drive. Check. Free advance. This is the file. And class number five is already here. Just a key. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, but I will look. You mean you don't have the Google Drive link? Please save it. I'm gonna send it to you in this moment in the chat. Save it. Guardelo. Save it. Okay. And there it is. Okay. There it is. So when you click on it, it will direct you exactly where presentations are uploaded. La va de redigir donde ya están subida. All right? Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay. Check. Check this. And in the presentation after this, you have activities to practice. You can do activities by yourself. Pueden ser activities por, por usted mismo también. Open the link. Check. Open the link. Uh, click on the start. Example. Okay. Make the indirect question, please. Make it. What is the order? It's okay if you borrow the camera is okay ah. it is okay e is is okay is 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 okay okay is it okay if you if i if i uh -huh. borrow your camera borrow your camera okay that's because you have already started it Eso es porque ya estudiamos con if. ¿Sí o no? Yes. We have. We have, yes. Ya estudiamos con if. Next. Do you mind? Mind. Ah, ok. You, you remember. You, I know that you know. Yo sé que usted sabe, right? If But, I use your correct. car. Correct. Yes. Do. Uh -huh. Do you mind? Do you, okay, do you mind? Uh -huh. If I use your car. Uh, are you going to take care of my car? Uh -huh. Yes. How are you going to take care of my car? <laughs> Uh, I don't I don't have a crash. Ah, uh, I'm gonna be careful not to have a crash. Correct. That's it. Okay, pretty good. Okay, guys. You have this link to practice and uh, these questions, and you have the second link you can use. Um in this part you can check. Mm, let me see. Oh, we have a problem with the second link. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna check it. But number three, let's see. Ah, you have more, more requests. Check. Choose the most appropriate answer for expressing the idea specified in parentheses. Okay, guys, whenever you have time in during the week, please practice. Those exercises are good for you um, to study the indirect request. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed a little bit the mini meeting today. Almost uh, the hour. Casi la hora, right? But thank you. I appreciate it. Sorry? 
time passes fast? Yeah, pretty pretty fast. You're right. I don't mind if when someone forgets my name. I it's can hard. stand in when people are appointments late for it makes me happy when friends to take lunch. Ah, okay. Teacher, I have a problem with the middle exam. In the point C, that is the answer that I put, but uh, I have a mistake uh, in the answer. Uh, what exercise? Okay, guys. Guys, we have already finished. If you want to disconnect, not a problem. You are free to go. If you, I don't, I can stay a little, a little while, no problem. But if you want to leave, uh, have a good weekend. Thank you for joining. See you on Monday. Okay. If, we, if you want to stay, no problem as well. Uh, Rebecca, what exercise you, you say with the platform? Nice. Good night to share. Okay. Bye, see, you, see you, Hector. Take care. Uh, good night. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Good night. See you. It's in the middle exam. Ah, the midterm exam. Okay, let me get there. Midterm exam. Ooh, ah, this part, right? Mm. But in which part? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Three. six. In the three. Number yes. Three. Exam. But Put the words in order to make sentences. Example, is when person upsets it unre unreliable a uh, uh, me? Okay, in the first one, in the first one, the answer is, I don't mind it. I don't mind it when someone forgets my name. Ah, all right, I get you, because the words are in disorder. They are disorganized. Yes. All right. Yes. And the problem is in which number? Number one? <laughs> Las tres. Let's see. Yeah. I, I, I don't, don't mind. Uh -huh. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. When someone forgets my name. When someone forgets my name. Okay, let's see. Are you sure that is the correct one? <laughs> oh, God. Enviar. <gasps> All right. Pero a mí me parece error. <laughs> okay, why is that? ¿Por qué es eso? Be careful with the apostrophe in first place. Algunas veces le ponemos esto. Uh, permítame. Hay una cosa que aquí no es apostrophe, sino que está como una coma, right? Una es una coma y la otra es apostrophe. Hay que ponerle la apostrophe. Ahí está, ¿ve? Algunas veces le pone así. Pero esto no es apostrophe, esto es coma. ¿Ok? Hay que tener cuidado ahí. Tiene que ser apóstrofe. Si aún así le sale mala, ¿qué hay que hacer? Borrar todo. Darle refresh. Ah, ok. A la website. Y volverlo a poner. Ah. Aunque le aparezca aquí, ¿ver? Yo lo quito siempre. Okay. I uh, don't, uh, with apostrophe, I don't mind, I don't mind it mind when, when someone, someone forget my forgets name. my name. Okay, now, enviar, correct. Okay. Okay. Thanks, guys. teacher. Okay, guys. The, check the spelling. Hay que chequear el, el, cómo, cómo ponemos las palabras. Y si algo es en apóstrofe, hay que asegurarnos que sea apóstrofe. Si hay una question mark al final que necesita poner, y si no lo ponen, ese puede ser el error también. ¿Qué hay que hacer? Borrar. 
rephrase y volverlo a poner. That's it. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Okay, Good no night. problem, Rebecca. Thank Bye. you. Good night and, and see you see you on Monday, all right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Take care. Good weekend for you.